Welcome back everyone. Okay, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is add in a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in a new layer. This concurrent layer, I'm going to call this front, and this layer, I'm going to call this background. Okay, then I'm going to push the arrow to move this to the background. Now you'll notice that there are the grass tiles here, and there are also the forest tiles here as well. And these forest tiles actually make really good background objects here. And there's also one more thing, and that is the waterfall tiles, which they also sound, and they also look pretty good for background. So make sure that this is in the background. And what you can do is you can go ahead and you can add in the trees like this, okay? And again, if you want to, an easy way to do this is to just push the shift button. All right. And there you go. There we go. And if you scroll down here, you can actually have this one looks a little bit better at night, but basically there is this one little tree here. And there you go. And if you go ahead and play that, you'll see that um, that these trees actually look kind of nice. And if you wanted the canopy to happen, uh, you could go ahead and just add in all of these like this. All right. And actually, it's probably best if you also add in this top right here. Just makes it look a little bit better, and plus it's already included. Okay. So that's how you make um, the trees here. Now, sometimes you'll see in video games that this might happen. Uh, you can go ahead and finish it off here, but uh, this actually does happen in a lot, a lot of video games. If the player can't see it, then the player sometimes won't know about it. Now, again, you have to make sure that this is in the background. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is these waterfalls. So as you can see here, this button here is usually push the pause. And if I go ahead and remember to push shift here, and the reason for that is um, is basically it locks to a grid. In fact, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and create another layer, and I'm going to call this waterfall. And the waterfall is going to be behind both of these. And as a design tip, I feel that waterfalls are actually a pretty cool, um, a pretty cool uh, background here. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and push Shift. And just going to go ahead and keep on pushing shift. And I'm going to just fill this in right here. Kind of neat. There we go. All right, perfect. And I'm also going to add in this right here. And for this, I'm just going to drag it. All right. There we go. And you'll notice that since this is the exact background here, we can go ahead and just basically fill this in whichever way we want. All right. So I'm just going and filling this in right now. And there we go. We have a nice little waterfall. And that actually looks kind of cool. Now, if you go ahead and push this uh, pause button, you'll see that the waterfall starts to animate. And what this is is that normally you don't want the animations to, to happen when you're editing a game, but you, if you push that there, it actually does start to, add, uh, to, um, to animate. All right, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.